Come on. Wake up, you don't want to be late for class. Mm. Come on, wake up. I don't want to wake up. You don't want to be late for class, do you? What would Sergeant Lewis say? Oh, Lewis. You really know how to ruin some intense sleep, you know that? Yeah, I know. I'm just as tired as you are after that wedding reception, that flight last night. I'm wiped out, you know that? Wiped out. It was some two days, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, for a while, though, I would have laid odds that neither of those two would have walked out that church husband and wife. I think Anna wishes they hadn't. <sighs> we should have let me stay in Laurel with her. What more can she do there? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't like it, especially with Patrick mm -hmm. still there. She's convinced that it's either Kevin or Patrick or one of the O'Connors. But for Terry's sake, I hope it's Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Hmm. If it was Kevin, that'd really make her crazier than she already is. But if it is? She's honeymooning with the murderer. Yeah, not my idea of a fun wedding night. You know, if I had to pick between the two, I would probably say that it's Patrick. So would I. I can't imagine Kevin harming anyone. Why didn't you tell me what time it is? I tried. Honey, I gotta get to the academy. Oh. Oh. Let's go. My back. I threw my back out. Oh. Tony, I'm sorry to bother you, but there's been a little accident. No, I'm fine, but it's, it's Frisco. He threw his back out. He was getting out of bed, and he fell to the floor, and he started moaning. It wasn't moaning. It was a little ouch. Could you come and take a look at him? Tony, just sit where you are. I'm fine. Yeah. No, no, he can't even walk. Uh, I'll crawl if I have to. I have to get to the academy. Yeah. Because if I don't make it there, Lewis is going to boot no. me out of the entire force. He'll probably arrest me for impersonating mm -hmm. a would-be officer. Yes. Yes, well, Frisco will definitely be here. He's not going anywhere. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Bye-bye. Tony's on his way. Well, you tell him I'll see him in class, then, okay? No, you get back in that bed right now. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. What are you doing? You are you playing down. wrestling at the chase? You should be trying to help me Honey. instead of trying to win two out of three falls. You're in no shape to go anywhere. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm in no shape not to. Have you seen the faculty evaluations in class? I have more black marks than the entire squad put together. How I can't do you think about this. class? You're in a lot of pain right now. Oh, this? No, this is nothing compared to what Lewis is going to do to me. What's the matter? You're afraid your devoted partner will miss you? I'm worried Sam will have to pick up the pieces of my body that will be splattered all over the room when I see Lewis next. Oh. Where are you going? Huh? You just relax. I'm going to take care of all of your excuses to Sergeant Lewis. Oh, now I'm really in trouble. Don't you worry. I can make it sound like you're on your deathbed. I might as well be. Now, you just stay put. I won't be gone long. Uh, I love you. Honey, please don't go to Lewis, sweetheart. I please. won't be gone long. Flip. Stayed in love with Anna. Tony, will you cut it out? Mm hmm. Once you get back in bed. Tony, I have got to get to the academy, okay? You're in no shape to go anyplace. Don't you understand, Tony? I cannot afford to miss any more class. I can't. Sergeant Lewis wouldn't want you at work today. Lewis? He's gonna hit the ceiling when Felicia tells him I have a bad back. They're gonna have to peel him off the plaster. He wouldn't want you to risk further injury. For risk it? Lewis will probably cause it once he finds us out. Just give me, Tony, give me my shirt. Nope, nope, nope. You're not going anywhere near the academy until your back's well. In That's fact, fine. I think I'm gonna call an orthopedic doctor you. because I think he needs to see you. No, not on your life, Tony. No way. Uh -huh. Why not? Because he's gonna want to put me in the hospital, probably. right? No, no, uh-uh. No, promise me that you're not gonna call an orthopedic surgeon. Promise me. Please. Okay, I promise. You get in bed, 
You promise me you won't move, you won't Fine. get out. This is ridiculous. We're grown men, not to mention brothers. You can't trust my Fine. word. I think I've got Dr. Tony, Tory's please. number here. I'm going to call him. I'm going to no, call Tony. him. Hello? Okay, Hello? all right, okay, all right. All right. Mm. I promise. Good. Satisfied? Maybe. Had to make me say it, though, huh? You always did. <clears throat> you really are serious about being a cop, aren't you? I mean, I've seen dedication. I think this is more of like obsession. This happens to be exactly what I want to do with my life, Tony. I've found something that I like to do. I admire that. I just think you're a little crazy for wanting to go to class when you can't walk. Yeah, well, you don't know, Sergeant Lewis. I'm gonna go change. Uh, don't you have to go to the hospital today? No, I got the rest of the day off, so I can sort of, uh, keep an eye on you. I'll check in later. Thanks. Um, I was gonna ask you something. Um, what about Jennifer? What do you mean? I just saw her in the hallway on my way up. She's back? Unless she's a ghost. What's she doing here in Port Charles? Hell, I don't know. I thought we'd seen the last of her for a while, at least until they get back from the honeymoon. So did I, but I saw her. Huh. I suppose we'll find out what she wants soon enough. Mm -hmm. well, I think you better let Felicia and I do the snooping around today. You stay in bed, okay? Oh. Yes, sir, Dr. Jones, sir. I learned how to say sir. Okay. I'll, uh... Academy. See you later. Ah, <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad I can't move. Ah. Oh. 